Okay, Real Fam, do you ever find yourself lost in the sea of so many beauty products that you can't figure out which one is the best for the job? Never fear, we're here to help. This is What's the Difference? Mm -hmm. Gonna be so good. Okay, ladies, I'm gonna jump right into it. We all want that soft, smooth, sexy skin, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of products that claim to help us get to it. But today, let's focus on body oils versus body lotion. Yes. What's the difference? Okay, let's start with oil. Oil sinks right into the skin to help reintroduce long lost moisture. Research shows that when these oils are absor absorbed into the skin, that top layer of our skin usually treats them as their their own. Now, lotions are a mix of oil and water and typically work better on dry skin. And because they're partly water-based, they're often better at penetrating the skin. Now, the main difference between oils and lotions boils down to the ingredients and their targeted use. Now, body oils are used to reintroduce moisture in the skin, while body lotions are generally used to target a specific concern, like my dry ass hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good to know the Yes, difference. I feel like layering them is always best though. Yeah, I do too. I, I need both. I get out the shower, body oil, yes. then I put the lotion to on lock and then it in. I'm like locked in for the day. Wow. I love that. Okay, now the question is, what's the difference between a face serum and a face cream? Mm. Well, face serums are thinner topical products that contain concentrated amounts of active ingredients. The larger amounts of active molecules penetrate the skin surface with greater effectiveness. Mm. Now, using a face cream is also super important because it keeps the moisture and elasticity in your skin, which can actually help reduce wrinkles, age spots, and other fine lines. So what's the difference? It's all in the formula. Ah. Now, serums are mostly water-based and creams are oil concentrated, so it's best to apply the serums first, then layer your cream on top to help seal in all the benefits. Similar to your Similar body, to what? your yeah. body with body oil, yeah. Wow. That's really good information. Okay, now, when it comes to applying foundation, many of us grab either a sponge or a brush. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between the two? Well, the foundation sponges work well with creams, liquids, and even pressed powder. A sponge can absorb more product than a brush, which can often give you a softer look. Yeah. Mm. Now, a foundation yeah. brush allows you to use less product because it doesn't get absorbed like it would using a sponge. Plus, you can spread it evenly against the skin to get the desired amount of coverage you're going for. So the difference here boils down to your personal preference. Mm, yeah. Okay. And the kind of look you're going for when it comes to foundations. Either way, you cannot go wrong with either one. I say use yeah. both. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sometimes you I use both. I use the sponge yeah. around yeah. my eyes. Yeah, to get in here. And yeah. then this for the rest of my base, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you got, Kathy? Yeah. Okay. There's so many products out there prom promising to help us achieve a good hair day. Mm. But when it comes to hair, what's the difference between a dry shampoo and a dry texture spray? Mm. Ooh, do I tell because I don't know the difference. I just learned yeah. about the texture spray mm -hmm. three, four months ago in New York. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you, here is the detox dry shampoo, mm -hmm. which is great. I have not tried this one before, but dry shampoo is wonderful. And it is, it is usually made with either corn or rice starch. Mm -hmm. oh. And it's an okay. absolute staple when it comes to keeping hair feeling fresh and clean between washes. Yeah, necessary. Now, this is a weightless and dry matte texture spray. Okay. Oh. This adds volume. Um, I'm actually gonna put a little bit because I could use a little. <laughs> okay. uh, so I'm gonna add some grit and some texture. There. <laughs> this is the next day, and what you do, don't spray it here because it'll yeah. make your hair look dull. Yeah. Okay. Like part right here uh -huh. and put a little. Oh, and it oh, gives you right. a lift. That's and good. it gives a lift, but I go like this. Oh, look at and that. like that, and my hair gets like this big. Oh, oh I so like that. Yeah. And then I style with my, my fingers. Yeah, yeah. See, I oh, make so it's it. priming your hair so it preps it for the styling. And I, like I don't that. even need to use, like it I'll do this good. tonight before Lisa's party. Yeah. That looks great. And but do my are own. But confused. So what does it come down to, Kathy, between What's the, the two? What's the difference? The difference is this is to make it look clean. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. And this one will make it look clean, but it gives it like a big, it'll give it volume, nice. texture, and it's got something in it. Yeah, it's got that like That is like a fresh hair day. 
Like, wow. Just in a low crotch. Great. This is my favorite, because it oh. kind of does everything. Oh, I love that. Dry Texas shampoo is a go-to for And this sure. one is smells so that? good, and oh, it's wow. my favorite favorite. Oh, that's okay. amazing. Oh, wow. Now, those were some great tips, ladies.